fantastically beautiful evening. This is the coolest it has been in Barcelona. I haven't thought about it, but you're right. Since the day we got here. Seriously, it feels so good. I was like, why Why are my clothes not sticking to my skin like no, tape? Tape. The other day, Jared said, my skin feels like tape. And I laughed so hard. It does. Okay, so before we came on our travels here to Europe, we were living in our motorhome as a family. And Jared was doing the anti-inflammatory diet from the beginning with the Red River Clinic. And we went to St. George, we traveled through St. George, and we sat down with Dr. Swindlehurst and asked him a few questions about, we wanted to pick his brain a little bit. So here it is. This is Dr. Swindlehurst from the Red River Clinic, health and wellness. Correct. And goodness, all the way around. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so we just stopped by, we were in town for a couple days on part of our travels. And we just want to stop by and say hi, and thanks for keeping both of us a little healthier than we were, a lot healthier than we were. You're welcome. So it's been a good experience. We're uh, so we're doing the anti-inflammatory <laughs> thyroid diet. I feel a million times better. Uh, it's great because I only sleep about four hours at night, so this diet has helped me have normal energy <laughs> on a horrible sleep schedule. Um, but awesome. So, awesome patient. Well, nice and. Please do accept my uh, suggestions. I try, I try to keep it easy. <laughs> I just call, what am I supposed to eat? I'm eating everything I'm supposed to. Uh, you do it, so that's good. Has Jared been giving you grief through this whole thing? Not lately. <laughs> I've had to talk a lot about like gas and stuff, so that's easy. Very, that's very exciting, but. Uh, <laughs> and probably a common thing, right? All the time. <laughs> I'm used to it. It's, oh, man. It's more awkward for my patients. Than it <laughs> do you ever see families, full families like this, that have Hashimoto's? Yes, I have one family, and I've seen okay. the mom, the dad, uh, their son, their daughter, and then a ton of their family. Well, when Stella was about 18 months, we had her working with you, I remember, and it was wonderful. And you, she had pneumonia, she had all sorts of things, and we cut that out. We cut some food out, and she ended up doing so much better just from that and a few supplements that you had given. Um, so you guys do, you know the way around, but I have a question that, Stella, you wanna sit with him? I have a question that I've been wondering and I actually do wanna get this on tape. So, with our kids, cause we both have Hashimoto's. Yes. So, they both have the gene, right? So, it's very commonly a genetic problem. Okay, so, well, and if we both have it, wouldn't that mean that they're- it's Not necessarily not necessarily. Okay. They're a higher risk of having it. Okay, so if we, should we be from this point gluten free, dairy free, 100% with them? I would highly strongly suggest it. Okay. With kids, I mean, you can see behavior changes sometimes in them when, they're, when they are having a reaction. Um, and it's hard for them to really say, oh, I've gotten gas today or I'm bloated or I don't feel good. Right. So it's seeing how their attitude changes if they're happy, if they're sad when they eat those foods. Kids more. Like I said, with their attitude, it might not be that day, but it might be a couple days after. Right. Well, on that note, awesome. So there you go. That's, well, well, that's cool. gluten right there. <laughs> He's having a gluten reaction. Amen. That might be what? Gluten sugar, um, maybe some uh, processed oatmeal today that he had. We appreciate you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. The program for me was great. I just cut out a bunch of food that I think we all know we're not supposed to eat, and I felt pretty fantastically better afterwards. My biggest problem was I didn't have maybe the same problems as other people with, you know, really bad digestion. I mean, it could have definitely been better, but. You didn't think you were very sick, right? Well, most of my stuff was energy. So when I got uh, when I got going through the diet and everything, I just felt so much better. I was always so tired and so lethargic and so just so tired. I just felt like garbage, really. And uh, after just cutting things out, you know, taking all those things out of my diet that, that I think we all know we're not supposed to eat anyways, I felt a million times better to the point where I couldn't take a nap in the daytime. And, and that was awesome. That was great. So when you eat clean, do you feel like you can you have energy for days? Uh, is there a bird poop in my hair? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So when I eat well, I feel a lot better. Intense. So the most interesting part is that it's so different for everyone because Jared and I 
you know, we did the same program, but although it's individualized for each person, but he's, at, while we've been traveling, he's felt totally different than I have felt, and food has affected us differently, so it's been really interesting to see. The third place we have visited here in Europe, we've been to Paris, we've been to London, now we're in Barcelona. So, I've been told that the food here is supposed to be a lot better than in the States, um, and I can say that you can tell it's a lot less GMO'd, uh, and it tastes a lot more fresh and also goes bad quickly. So like my bananas go bad in about one day. But I have been really flared up. So there is a language barrier and I can't tell everybody that I have to do gluten free um, and dairy free at times. So it has caught up to me. So we're about a month, maybe a month and a half into our journey and I am feeling very, very, very sick. I am now working on bringing my body back to where it needs to be. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. So the past few days, um, I've been exercising a lot, trying to kind of detox. And today, I went and got some juice this morning. I've had juice uh, morning and afternoon, and then I'm gonna have some sushi today, which is eating really clean, and also taking turmeric. I'm taking tons of turmeric drinking tons of water, but trying to kind of reset my system. But I've been experiencing so many things. Uh, bloating, I've been breaking out, I, my energy levels are really, really low. And honestly, I can gain five pounds of water weight in about a day, and that's the bloating, and that's my Hashimoto's. And I didn't know that it was a disease, I lived with it most of my life, had no idea that it was a problem. So now I know, and now I know how to get on top of it. So I know there's a lot of you out there who think it's normal and think it's normal to feel so awful like I'm feeling and like I have been feeling the past week but here I am yeah making myself feel better so I wanted to share the good info with you guys about what I've learned so peace we're just out in Plaza Catalunya uh, <laughs> doing our doing our thing say with the list Plaza Plaza uh, and it's pretty it's pretty beautiful we just ate sushi and like a stir fry from the grocery store. Like you go in there and they make it for you at the grocery store while you grocery shop. Amazing. So good. What, Hendrix? A bug? Oh, you got a bug on your neck? <laughs> <laughs> There's no bug. There's no bug. Okay, so I get asked questions all the time about my Hashimoto's and my low thyroid and all the stuff that I deal with. And I'm so excited that I finally can direct people to a book that the doctors that I have worked with, they're coming out with today. And they've been working on it for a really long time. My sister's story is actually in it and all that she went through. They're incredible. And all the questions that you have will be answered in this book. And it is called The Truth About Low Thyroid. Now I'm gonna post the link uh, here so you can see as well. But today is such a big day because they, it's the big release date. So. Anyway, they've helped me, they've helped Jared, they've even helped Stella. They did a little program with her. So if you have any problems, if you know anyone who has thyroid issues at all, this is a must read for them. Uh, and honestly, even if it's not low thyroid, even if it's just you don't feel good, you know, you need something, you need some help, check it out because you never know, it could be your thyroid.